I actually, the year that I left PA, I was going to seventh grade. Uh, my grandmother had passed that year, but mm-hmm. it was like, I was already like, right now I'm going to go back to Houston this year, mm-hmm. da, da, da. so like with her passing, it was like. It just made you do it. Either. It messed me up, but it yeah. was like, it wasn't a forced move. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. I gotta ask you, so okay. So you were born and raised in Houston or Port Arthur? I was born in Houston. I was raised in PA. Then okay. I came back to Houston. So, okay. So, how old were you when you moved to PA? I was what, young. I was like first grade. So, about five, first grade. six years old. Till how like old? That. So, like 13 years old. Till 13. Okay. And you were raised with your mom and dad in the same household? Were they living together? No, nah, they wasn't living together. They was apart. My mama, she been married since 05. So, you know, after they did what they did, she had kind of moved on. My mom was okay. always on the standpoint, like, man, Chad, I ain't finna mess with you. I want something for sure. I know what type of guy you right. is, you know, charismatic player, you know, like, so. So they weren't together very long? Nah, they weren't together at all. Okay, but your dad was in your life. Right, yes. Okay, but did that affect you? Um, because I always ask everybody this, because everybody's affected differently. And some people, even although they think they're not affected, it, it affects them somehow subconsciously. Right. But um, not having your dad in the household, as much as sometimes he come pick you up whenever he can, you know, do that. Did it affect you not having him there all the time with you and having that support in the house? I would say, yeah, but it's to the extent like, damn, we didn't really get to, you know, know each other, know each other right. like that, you know. And then on top of that, I was so young when he passed away, so. Like we didn't get that real just right. knowing each other connection. So you were you were raised um, with a lot of regret in your heart. I wouldn't say regret because I do cherish the moments that we did right. have. But if if it's anything that I could wish for, it would be it would to be you know to spend some more, more time, time just to get to know each other a little bit better. Do you be trying to ask other people for um, stories and stuff like that? I do it all the time. Oh yeah, <laughs> I was about to say. I do it, man, one of my OGs. Uh, big keys, man. It's one of them all the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm always calling them like, man, hey, you know, who is this person? Man, who is... Yeah. Hey, you know what happened in this situation? You know, like, things like that. But yeah. that's, that's definitely a person. But, I mean, it's, a, it's the list goes on. Yeah. Know, I'm always trying to tap in with the people who are around at, at you know, certain times and, and pinpoints of in his life. So, mm-hmm. yeah. But day. your mom um, allowed you to hang out with your daddy pretty often because I see on your page uh, you have a lot of pictures with him or with your grandma and stuff like that. Right. So she was never one of those mothers that be like, because he ain't treating me right or he ain't, you know, not with me, you can't go see him type of person. Nah, right. Man, it was really, like, my mom I always been like that. Like, um, she is the type of person that, gonna let you make your decision you know like I can tell you and it's just for everything you know because nigga done messed around and did this and did that like to I bump my head and it's like I told you this but she the type of person that like if you gonna if you wanna jump out there and go see she, she gonna, gonna let go you bump your head you know what I'm saying yeah. like so like it was one of them things where I wanted to go to PA and live with my mm-hmm. grandma and she wasn't against it at all like go ahead you know what I'm saying that's good and like uh, when I when it was time for me to leave PA I actually, the year that I left PA, I was going to seventh grade. Uh, my grandmother had passed that year, but mm-hmm. it was like, I was already like, right now I'm gonna go back to Houston this year, mm-hmm. da, da, da. so like with her passing, it was like. It just made you do it either. It messed me up, but it yeah. was like, it wasn't a forced move. So I kind of felt a little bit better, you know, versus mm-hmm. her passing away and like, I don't have no choice but to go back, you know right. what I'm saying? I was already going, so I was kind of like, I was using that to kind of like leverage the pain. If, if you get yeah, what I'm I got it. So tell me some story. Cause that's the one thing I, I um I hear stories about Pimp whenever he became the rapper, right? Right. I know you've probably heard some stories about him when he was a kid. That's what I want to know. If you've heard like your grandma before she passed away, did she tell you stories of how he used to be when he was a kid growing up? Did you get a lot of those type of stories? Not really. He was so young. Yeah, I know, not, but you know, if she told him some. Not really. Um, if it if it did used to be in there, used to be like more around the times where he was in high school. Mm-hmm. And um, tell me something she told you. Like to the point where you know he he ended up dropping out. Yeah, mm-hmm. I remember that. He was right there though. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's like I see what I see. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, so it'd be like the debates that they used to have back and forth in between that time. Like, come on, Jed, you know what I'm saying. Like, but at the same time, he know what he got bubbling, you know. So it, it was like some some of that type of thing. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.